Hey there, have you ever played Find the Egg? No? Well, yeah, I, I just kind of made that up, but let's play it anyway. So, say there are three eggs arranged side to side on a moving conveyor. Egg one has one line drawn on it. Egg two has two lines, while egg three has three lines. All you have to do is identify each egg at the end of the conveyor. Light work, right? Well, there is a small twist. Each egg passes through the mixer box. An enclosed segment that ensures each egg has three lines drawn and also shuffles the position of the eggs. So at the end of the conveyor, each egg has three identical lines and sits at a different position. So can you still with certainty identify eggs one, two, and the original egg three? It's a lot harder now, isn't it? So this is kind of an illustration of how Tornado Cash, a non-custodial privacy solution, tries to improve transaction privacy between the recipient and destination address. So in this video, we will find out more about the privacy protocol, including how it works, and also stick to the end to find out about the US government sanctions on the protocol. All right, let's get to it. Now, someone might ask, is there really a need for a privacy protocol when users' identities are hidden on the blockchain? While it's true that the blockchain is pseudonymous, it is not at all anonymous. Simply put, when your identity is hidden, the trace of your transactions is not. In fact, the blockchain has helped the authorities in catching criminals before. Due to this high level of transparency, some privacy-oriented crypto users look to privacy solutions such as Monero and Zcash. However, these projects run on their native networks, hence they can't provide privacy to other chains. Now that is what led to the birth of Tornado Cash. So what is Tornado Cash and what does it do? So Tornado Cash is simply a blockchain privacy solution. It enables Ethereum users to break links in on-chain transactions by allowing them to send ETH and ERC20 deposits through its smart contract service and withdraw their crypto to a new address such that there is no link between the deposit and the withdrawal address. So let's find out what happens behind the scenes. Like Zcash and Monero, Tornado Cash employs zero knowledge proof, a way of doing authentication that lets one party prove to the other party that they know a secret without revealing what the secret is. Now we have a detailed video explaining how this authentication method works, so check that one out right here. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. So we have John here. Now for John to make a Tornado Cash deposit, he generates a secret and sends its hash called a commitment along with his desired deposit amount to the Tornado smart contract. Now the contract accepts John's deposit and adds the commitment tied to his amount to its list of deposits. Later, when John decides to make a withdrawal, he'll need to provide proof that he possesses a secret to unspent commitment from the list of deposits without revealing any piece of potentially identifying information. So this is where the zero knowledge technology comes in. It allows John to provide proof without revealing which exact deposit matches the secret. The smart contract will check the proof and transfer deposited funds to the address specified for the withdrawal by John. At this point, it will be difficult for anyone to determine which deposit John's withdrawal comes from. Now, while users like John might be legitimate, the protocol has been popular among illicit actors and this has caught regulators' attention. So on the 8th of August, the US Treasury sanctioned Tornado Cash for allegations of helping North Korean hackers launder billions of dollars of crypto. The Office of Foreign Asset Control, a regulatory agency under the US Treasury responsible for imposing sanctions, prohibited U.S. crypto users and businesses from interacting with the protocol. According to the Treasury, Tornado Cash has laundered over $7 billion. 
However, this is the total amount of money that has been processed through Tornado Cash, including the majority, which was not necessarily related to criminal activity. According to blockchain analytics from Elliptic, about $1.5 billion of illegally obtained funds have been laundered using Tornado Cash. This includes the $445 million hacked by the Lazarus Group, a famous North Korean-based hacked entity already serving U.S. sanctions. On top of that, the Treasury said hackers used Tornado Cash to launder almost $7.8 million in stolen assets in the recent Nomad heist, where attackers exploited a bug to steal over $100 million in cryptocurrencies. As such, the Treasury blamed Tornado Cash for failing to implement adequate measures to stop hackers from using it for money laundering activities. Now, Tornado Cash started to feel the heat immediately after the ban as the Treasury blacklisted 38 Ethereum wallets and 6 USDC wallets belonging to the protocol. Shortly after, Circle USDC's issuer blacklisted all Ethereum addresses owned by Tornado Cash listed in the US Treasury Department sanction against the protocol. Now that said, the US government would not sanction a tool that did not work. As it stands, it's clear that governments are struggling to deal with tools like Tornado Cash technologically, because merely hours into the sanctions, someone trolled celebrities like Jimmy Fallon, Brian Armstrong, and Logan Paul by sending ETH from Tornado Cash to their public Ethereum address in an attempt to demonstrate that the recent sanctions cannot easily be enforced. All in all, the US Treasury's move was met with controversy because this time they sanctioned software rather than companies or individuals, and the ban could be a significant turning point for digital assets as it demonstrates the extent the US government is willing to go in its efforts to regulate cryptocurrency. Well then, what will come of similar projects going forward? What will this mean for the crypto space at large? Well, give us your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, also remember to like, subscribe, and also follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya.